You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. 
Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, side dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. Ice cream, balls, shoes, socks, all on social media. Laughing, playing, having fun, all on social media. Books, trains, weight loss gains, all on social media. Different worlds, cute little girls, things that will make you lose your curls, all on social media. Cartoonish babes, the twerking gays, the top tens that will make you be amazed, all on social media. Rashid Arman, people love, all without a lot of subs, all on social media. That's Rashid's social media. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching RBT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? It's Liquidation's Blowout at Factory Free! Authentic finishes incorporated. Custom screen printing special. Come in and get comfortable. And take advantage of warehouse sales 80% off. Or well, some dealer. So come in, they're waiting to help and greet you. Come where you can see you can take advantage of everything. Gift ideas, shoe ideas, and much, much more. All at the factory free. Check the warehouse sale for up to 70% off. That's right, 70% off. That's what the food coupons where you can save that the kids will love. That's the premium retail group. Mega warehouse sale, 60 to 90% off. More offers 30, 20, 50, 40 percent off. Same, same, same. That's customary items or close out. It's worth the wait. All fire on Friday and Sunday, coat and remedy. You can't go wrong. 30 percent off, 20 percent off, and 25 dollars for cosmetic. In some dealers, commercial moving and offers relocation may apply. Brought to you by RVT, so take advantage and save. Plush toys for the toddlers. Buy one, get one free for one dollar. Just buy one, get one free for one dollar. Hey, that picture looks familiar there. No offense, boss, but we had to show up. Uh, honey, could you come in for a second? Go in, go in, go in, go on. Check www.svn-bid2win.com. That's www.svn-bid2win.com. Check out the Capital Options Warehouse Sale also. Hi, this is Rashid, President and CEO of RVT. Come in and save. Check for warehouse prices for great savings. You'll be glad you did. That's right! And with warehouse storage, you can't go wrong! So come in and save at Factory Warehouse Sales and Rajin approves at Factory Free! Hey guys, you know what this is? Come on, around here we call this the cure. What? You don't know what the cure is? Well, first, let's talk about what this is. It's syrup. Now, I know, I know, you use syrup for pancakes and waffles. But did you know there's other kinds of syrup? All from the finest things of the planet. You want strawberry pancakes? Let the cure do its job and transform your regular pancakes into strawberry ones. Okay, want blueberry pancakes? Go out and get blueberry syrup and voila, blueberry pancakes. Use the flavors on ice cream, pie, 
and even cereal. No wonder why we call this the cure. It cures everything from plain to fabulous. So, enjoy nature's answer to plain. Look for money saving coupons in the paper. When it comes to having an imagination, I have no problem with that. And I can share it with the world. And I guess that's why we're happy around here all the time. Not being partial, mind you, but Rashid is definitely not for everyone. Only those who truly accept me into their hearts, only then will you see me. And I will see you. RVT, Rashid's Video Tube. Serving nations worldwide. Where's Rashid? All the time. Damn, Rashid sure is not how to drive a point home. He said from the beginning something big was coming to YouTube and social media. I'm sure they get the point now. Hee hee. You know, I like pork. I really do. That's it. Pork. And I like devil's food cake too. Where can you go to get your cart full anyway? Try the supermarket where delicious savings are waiting for you. That's right. Keep walking. Just not to a dead end. To your local supermarket franchise. Grab a cart and splurge to the freshest fruits available. Check the circulars they arrive at your door, or in a newspaper of course, and save up to 15% off. Whole chicken, 79 cents. Boneless top sirloin steak, 2 dollars And the savings go on. It's where the diligent and friendly cashiers await you. Take your time and fill up on juice, meats, eggs, and dairy. Choose carefully. I love the supermarket. Wait, where's your parents? Outside. Well, let's take a trip up. Okay, never mind. Anyway, let's see what else they have to fill up that icebox. Stock up on white coffee in the grocers or online at www.sg.org. And check out the no frills ads in some grocers or one day sales ads on Fridays and get whole organic chickens for just $1.99 a pound. My crispy pork. I love pork. This will always be our favorite. Here's looking at you guys, and pork, sweet as a little girl blowing a pizza. Is that so? Very so at the supermarket. Stock up on veggies, tuna, and this will always be our favorite owl. Tina, we're saved. Saved indeed. So when you get off from work, what is it that you have to do? Right with a wiener in hand, or wow! Just head to the freshest supermarket in your local area or go online. Up next on RVT, crazy. Where everything was going on in full swing, drag, sex, and rock and roll in every single angle. Insane. 
Take an inside look at the world's number one most immoralistic nightclubs of all time. Hi, I'm Rashid. Join me for an inside look at a nightclub that definitely left its mark on American history, Studio 54. It's up next on RVT. Fourth, do you buy Rashid's documentaries? Yeah, I think I could cover that. Boy, here at RVT, we really are taking off, huh, guys? RVT, 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 RVT. Not necessarily puppeting the way some do, or complaining. Just enjoying free net social media fully, the way it's meant to be enjoyed. So if you see a big blimp on social media, remember, it's just Rashid passing by. I gotta hand it to you, Cynthia. Your directions was perfect. You're such a swell dame. A chip off the old block, sweetie. The place that guarantees to make you laugh. Rashid's RVT is the best place you could go for Rashid's entertainment on social media. Hey, I remember. And that means you have a brain, dude. Oh, shut. So pull up a chair, because it's fun in every syndication. Let's just say this is one of the places that rarely gets done. So, you want it? Just pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let me do what I do, okay? RVT, Rashid's video tube, located on YouTube and Google Plus and other social media platforms, is now affiliated with Walmart. Always the best price. Be sure and stop in for all your social media and everyday needs. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. And now, enjoy the show. The following program is rated XXXR by the Rashi Entertainment RVT Committee, coinciding with the United States. UK and National Entertainment Committee Association for adults only contain dry speech and adult themes. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody, welcome everybody, welcome everybody to RVT and this is Rashid the R Man coming on live on social media, YouTube, Google Plus and other social media platforms. How you doing out there on social media land? Broadcasting live from Cyber Rock, the R Man is here. And welcome that you can join me for another episode of What Do You Think? And we're going to have some fun. We got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of material to cover, guys. So I'm going to try to make this quickly and sharply as possible. How you? But first, I'm going to give a shout out to some friends of mine. First, TYT. Get over to TYT, the Young Turks. They good with uh, media news. Number one on social media. They keep you informed about what's going on on social media and beyond. So check out TYT when you get a chance. Also, check out Daddy Bada Duty, the life coach. The little boy from the Parsons family is finally grown up and has his own show. Check him and Sarah out, the Daddy Bada Duty show. And that's KZOK 102.5 FM. Check him out because he's going up. He got his own show and he can help you out with some problems you may be going through. Also, last but not least, I would like to thank Walmart for always the low prices. Check out Walmart's prices. Always a low price. Stop, stop in for all your everyday needs, holiday supplies, and so forth. So when you get a chance, you want to save, check out Walmart. Always, always, always a low price. Okay, now let's get the show started. <laughs> 
we have a lot of material to cover guys a lot of material so i'm gonna make everything quickly as possible we can get the show going so what's going on i'm glad you can make it ah oh, boy oh boy oh boy i feel we feel actually we feel kind of good we feel energetic and i'm ready to go with the show and i hope everybody ready to go too because we got a lot to cover i hope everybody have a, had a nice holiday season and i hope everybody had a nice new year and it's very good that you're here. And it's very good that you can hear me. And it's very good that we can have some fun. It really is. Uh, let me get comfortable with my chair here. How you doing, sweetheart? Everything all right? Put a smile. Just remember the smile. Okay? All right. Now, here we go. We're going to continue on. Boy, I had a rotten holiday season, guys. I don't know about you. But my holiday... I'm not feeling this holiday season. I sit already. I have to get some better sound equipment for my um, for this show. Right now it's mono in the stereo, and of course they got the Blu-ray. I don't know what kind of shit they talk about what music sound like, but I gotta. I'm a, in time. I'm gonna get some better equipment so my my sound my music are coming better than this. But just deal with me from now for now while I get myself together here. Gonna take our time and have a, have a nice show, okay? You know, I don't rehearse nothing. I know I don't I just don't rehearse anything. So we're gonna come on here to kick some butt. Rolling me a cigarette. Go get nice and comfortable. Show business is shit. I tell you this show business shit. I ain't expect all this. I, I swear to god. A motherfucker going through it. I just, we just did a whole fucking show. Ain't nothing come. We got to do all this again. That's how I told my babies to keep smiling. Just, just show business. We don't want, you know, it's YouTube and, and this is show business. We got subscribers and I'm going to bring it to y'all, man. But first I got to get right. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't the motherfucker. I never was the motherfucker. That bitch ass mother thought I was a motherfucker. Now she no different now. That's for fucking sure. Ain't no Mother's Day shit around here. So, I'm glad you guys could like coming, chose to listen to me. I'm very glad that y'all chose to listen to me, guys. I am. Y'all ain't gotta listen to me, but y'all choosing to listen to me, and that makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel great. Not great, but good. Marie Antoinette panties felt great, dude. I ain't gonna fuck a lot of you about that. But uh, you should feel good. I feel good. We all feel good. Ice cream. We ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Anyway, we got a lot to cover. And I don't want to go waste too much time shooting the shit. Just give me a few minutes, guys. All right? Just give me a few minutes. I got to get right. I gotta get right there. That's right, no dressing room or quiet. How was your holiday season anyway? Good. You get everything you wanted for Christmas? I didn't. And maybe you will next year. Santa will be around next year, hopefully. If not, then he'll me he'll get you the next go round. Anyway, this is social media. Freedom of speech, and we indulge in freedom of speech around here. Where's my water at, by the way? Okay. Guys, I'm going through it. We all going through it. But this is not the time to talk about what we're going through. Because on this show, what do you think? Let me explain to you what it's all about. It's about us talking about things that people don't talk about in the media. In the media today, people don't really talk about issues that we discuss. For some strange reason. Maybe it makes them feel uncomfortable. Maybe they say, oh, my she, I don't like talking about it because, well, it just, this is up the ass a little bit. Anyway, whatever, whatever the reason may be, we talk about these things around here on RVT. And I want you to be a part of it. We are freaks. We are the unwanted. And this is how we do our shit. Ain't no acting. Ain't no pretending around here. I don't rehearse for nothing. I just write and get on the air. And that's how we do shit around here. Uh, excuse me. So without further ado, you know how Rashid talk crap. 
don't change that channel. You're going to be glad you didn't, dude. Because we got a lot of, we're going to have some fun. I got some shit I got to talk to you about. And I want to show you guys. We're going to wrap up the Star Wars thing, the whole goddamn thing, and what we're talking about. But first, business first. Let's get things underway. I'm looking, excuse me, guys. I'm looking at my, is everything all right over there? The fuck you looking at like that for? All right. I'm gonna call Joe Pesci up and uh, and Christopher Reese. They wanna stop by for some reason. I don't fucking know why. I don't even give a shit. That's what I said, Christopher Reese. That's what I said, guys. That's what I said. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's continue on the show. First of all, I'm gonna ramp up something here. This is the show. Is what do you think? Now we're gonna be going through those things, some things, and I'm gonna be asking you, what do you think about them? Now, the beginning of the show, however, address uh, serious, well, I just bullshit, but I don't have really much to say on this episode because ain't nothing really going on. Plus, I'm talked out, and y'all got to catch me on the next episode. Guys, I am so sorry, but that's the way it is. We just did a show and got to do it all again, and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even know what to say. I don't know if I want to see little ballerinas, so I don't fucking know. Statue of Liberty's twerking. I love to see Statue of Liberty twerking, dude. All that fucking metal, that semen ass. You motherfucking right. But that's just showing what my frame, I mean, I don't fucking know, dude. Right now, I'm going to pull something on the screen, and I want y'all to look at it, okay? Now, here we go. Now, on a serious note, I don't know what's going on in this country. I don't know what's happening in this country, all right? Quite frankly, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm a cult leader. I don't give a fuck what's happening in this, or going, it's happening in this I don't care. I don't care. But this right here is wrong, Okay? I don't give a fuck about the reason for it. I don't give a damn about the explanation for it. All I know is that this is a no-go with Rashid and my people. This is a no-go. We don't. I don't like this. Whatever they're doing, I don't like it. And there's no reason for it whatsoever. I just want to get the, get things serious. Now, this is nothing to fuck around with. I don't really like this right here. But... There's nothing I can say about it or about it, so I just want to voice my opinion on social media. And I got an opportunity to do it, so I'm going to do it. You know, my she the R, man, and I ain't going to pull no strings. So, now, continuing on with shit. And I don't like this either. Because, see, they fucked this guy over. This, uh, Lucas, George Lucas, they fucked him over, dude. I don't like what they did to him. Okay, and he's the inventor of Star Wars. He's the inventor of it. And they're going to do, and what they did to him is, uncle, they made him go and apologize for saying the, um, Lucas apologizes for Disney Snow White Sleeves comment. Now, let me tell you, let me show you what I'm talking about. He made a comment about, he said, I sold them the white slaves that take these things in. And that his voice just... He silenced right there. That's what he said. He sold the white sleeves. He sold them the white sleeves. And they take these things. Then he says. Then it says. The father of Star Wars also opened up about why he and Disney were split on their decision for the franchise's future. Now this is what Lucas said. They looked at the stories and they said. We want to make something for Luke, for the fans. Lucas said. They decided they wanted to do what they wanted to do and not what the story is about. And then, they, and then they made him go and apologize when he get pissed off. See, I found a problem with that because he, if it, it wasn't for Lucas, there would be no Star Wars. And yet he got apologized. And in this great country, see, that's why I'm pissed off at every fucking thing around here. In this great country of the United States of America and so forth, you got the right to say what's on your mind. People die for our rights. And this guy could say any fucking thing he want to under the sun, dude. And, get, and he's still the fucking man. He can say any, practically anything he want to say. 
Soon as Lucas say something about what everybody celebrating, he got to come up and apologize. Unfair ass fucking shit. And in this great nation, like I said, in this great nation, you got the right to speak your opinion about shit. No man, good or bad. He's not insulting nobody for saying that. He ain't pointing no names out. And he had to go and apologize like that. And they, and he could, Trump could do any fucking, man, this is straight boy. See, the white man is going, something wrong with the white man. We don't know what happened. Okay. We don't know what, what the, what the, what the deal is. But he's different. He's, uh, I don't know. He's just, he's different. They got him. They got him. They got him. They got him. And they got the Holocaust motherfuckers. And they got him. They got him. They got y'all with the Star Wars shit. They got you. They dug in your pot. They got me. They got me on that less miserable shit. I thought it was a movie about a little girl. Ain't no fucking movie about a fucking little girl, dude. Ain't no fucking movie about her. Ain't no fucking movie about no goddamn fucking little girl, man. They got me with that movie right there. And guess what they said about it? They said, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read what they said about this shit. I heard the people sing as, as much as the musical theater of Eddie Redman fan. Emmy and I enjoyed it. I never need to hear them sing it again. But kudos, but kudos to Tom Hooper on getting all of America to watch fairy acquainted musical Russell Crowe grambling through stars. Russell Crowe was in it and everything. Went up on the fucking little girl, dude. It got me. It got me, dude. Who wanna look like a who wanna, who wanna look at a hairy eight? I don't wanna look at a hairy eight. I wanna look at a little girl. I, it got me. They got me. See, they ain't get you with Star Wars. They got me, dude. See, they got me with this. They got me. So, stop bitching. All right, stop bitching. The white, know the white man going through something right now. Okay, we don't know exactly what the fuck is happening. But he going through something. Now he going through an episode. Just don't fuck with him, right? He'll be all right. Just don't fuck with him. He'll be all right. Just let him, let him just, uh, he got to recuperate. Just let him cool recuperate, dude. Don't f stop fucking with him like that, all right? He ain't the motherfucker, dude. Don't forget who he used to be. I'm fucking mean. I'm not shitting. Don't fuck with him. He's just going through something right now. And now, guys, you will not believe this. But I had to stop everything. Gene Wilder wrote a book. I love Gene Wilder. I grew up with Gene Wilder. And it's so amazing that he wrote a book. It's called Kiss Me Like a Stranger, My Search for Love and Art. Would you believe it? And the New York Times called it gracious. So, big hats off to Gene Wilder. I, guys, get out there and support him because I didn't know he was an author and he deserves all the credit he deserves because he's very talented and I have history with him. So, when you get a chance, Go check out his book, My Search for Love and Art. Richard Pryor be uh, proud. He will. He will be proud. Everybody grooving out there? All right, welcome to the show. Now, don't get crazy around here. Now, we here to get entertained. I'm going to tell you some shit going on here that nobody talk about for some fucking strange reason. <laughs> now, check this out. I'm going to talk about something that's sensitive to me. Because let me tell you something. What the white man going through is incredibly bad. See, nigga ain't shit. Alright, nigga ain't shit. Nigga ain't never going to be shit. And nigga ain't even about shit. And see, white brain don't know that. But like I said, he going to keep fucking with nigga. Nigga going to go off on him. When, he, when nigga go outside his head and shit. Now listen to me, man. Listen to me. I ain't fucking around. That's Rashid the R man. He I'm for real. When nigga go outside his head, white man gonna see the 4th of July. He gonna say he never miss it after all. So he gonna miss no holidays when nigga go outside his head. Nigga ain't shit. 
Nigga ain't never gonna be shit, and he keep acting stupid like that. That's all I got to say about it. That's all I got to say about it. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. Nigga ain't shit. Nigga ain't never gonna be shit. Nigga ain't shit, dude. Nigga ain't shit. No matter what you, you dress him up, feed him, clothe him. He ain't gonna be he ain't the motherfucker. He ain't the, when he go up, when he put it. See, I was there. I'm from the project. I'm from the streets. When they go inside your head, you gonna know what time it is, motherfucker. You wait. You fucking wait. Man of time. Man of motherfucker, dude. This motherfucker lost his damn mind. What's this Peter Pan record or some shit? What's this Epcot Center now? We, we don't need to go to Disneyland no more. What the fuck is going on here? Nigga ain't shit. Don't, fuck, don't keep fucking around with that. Don't keep fucking around. And speaking of the brothers and shit. Speaking of the brothers, remember, stop laughing. Stop fucking laughing, dude, because it's cheat on a motherfucker here. You know, I'm playing around. This is my she for fucking shit. Uh, remember, stop, I gotta wait till you stop laughing. Because nigga ain't shit. And when, a, and when the nigga get tired of the fucking shit pretending like he Dick Van Dyke, he gonna rise up like Samuel L and go right upside his white American fucking head. Then motherfucker gonna wake up and say, "Oh, what the fuck? I should have had a V8." That's what. That's what. That's what nigga grade do. That's what nigga grade do. I ain't shitting you. That's what nigga grade do, dude. So there you go with that fucking shit. That's the end of that fucking bullshit. All right, now listen. Stop laughing, listen, shit. Remember, remember the American Music Awards, how we had good music and shit? We had fucking good fucking music, dude. We had Madonna, Cindy Lauper. See, my motherfucker was Prince, dude. That was my motherfucker right there. Whitney, we had good music, Luther. They, they pop out there. It was called. Let me get this right now. I just want to. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This is something I want to bring out on the show. This is something I want to bring out on the show. They called it the American Music Awards. The American. American Music Awards. Now, Islam, I want you to listen. American Music Awards. That's what this shit was called. Now, the reason why I'm pissed off. Shut up. The reason why I'm pissed off, because I want to bring this out, nobody talking about. Why did they drop the word American and put V in there? The video music arts. I don't like that. See, I don't like that. See, now it's VMAs now. Now it's the VMAs, and you got these white boy acting like niggas all over the place. See, the shit I don't like none of that. None of that fucking shit I don't like. I don't like none of it. They took away our good. See what happened was this is what happened. It was the American Music Awards. The niggas was protesting, saying we want some rap categories. That's what they was doing. So they finally put rap categories in American Music Awards, and then everybody was still grooving and shit. You had instruments. This thing called instruments. All right. Then all of a sudden it just turned nigga gangster. They just took them. Took on. See, now it's all eight gorilla shit, and I just want to bring out, that's what fucking pissed me off about that VMA shit. If you don't get that, v and that MTV bullshit, if you don't get all that MV, the fucking P shit the fuck out of here. It will always be the American Music Awards, and no matter how much you change it, it will always will be the American fucking Music Awards. And, and that's it. Get that MVP bullshit the fuck out of here. Ain't no MV, NBA bullshit. Ain't no NBA, NBC bullshit. It's the American Music Awards, and I'm pissed off that they fucked that up. And I always wanted to come on the air and say that. I always wanted to come on the air, and I'm thankful to social media, YouTube, and go. I get a chance to do it. That's how serious I am. They didn't fucked it up. Everybody know they fucked up that picture right there with that um Jew in the striped pajama shit. They fucked that up because see, they fucked up a good shot. You ain't get none of that. 
you saw some of her ass, Molly ass. You wanted all he fucked it. Everybody know they fucked that shot up. You ain't getting that ass. You ain't getting that fucking white ass, dude. You ain't getting that white ass. You know you ain't getting that fucking white ass. You know you're not. You ain't getting that fucking shit. Dude. Beetlejuice fucked it up. That white Beetlejuice motherfucker fucked it up. That Jew striped pajama shit fucked it up. And and that and see shit like that VMA shit. You got these nigga actors, and that's why I'm fucking pissed off. Nigga ain't shit. Nigga ain't no, ain't no, and that's what everybody want to do. Everybody want to do. Motherfucker, no, no, nigga go inside your head. You want to know what time a motherfucking is, dude. It doesn't matter fucking time. Nigga ain't shit. And they admit they fuck the American Music Awards, that fucking nigga ass shit, and go fuck y'all. And, and I'm pissed off about it. And I'm fucking mean. I ain't playing the fucking shit. As far as y'all come to my state, talking that little girl shit. Why she you little girls? Why she you little girls? Do you think I'm fucking give a fuck?
Right, that's the end of that fucking shit. Did you did you see that? Did you did, can you feel that? In your marrow, in your fucking bones, dude. Do you feel that? Alright, I don't care. I don't care. That's what it's about around here. You don't like it? Go to t-shirt shit. It's plenty t-shirts up fuck out there. Miss Susie, Miss Sassy, Fancy fucking shit. Ain't no t- I got out here and I'm talking shit. We wear t-shirts out fucking self, dude. We, we wear t-shirts ourselves, but they got fancy fucking shit. They got Pokemon balls and they made fucking shit and they fucking shit. Go to fancy, fancy shit. YouTube shit. That's what the hell you do you don't like. Go to sassy, fancy fucking shit. Tea Pokemon balls and shit. Go to they fucking shit. Go to t-shirts you don't like. And that's the end of that. It stays and that's it. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Cause nigga ain't shit, nigga ain't never gonna be in there. Everybody walking there, walk that way, run DMC, that fucking Aaron Smith bitch, walk this way shit, nigga ain't shit. And go ahead, you go ahead with that fucking shit. That's all I got to say about it. Now, listen up. Stop laughing. Damn it. <laughs> We're going to take a turn here. We're going to take a turn here because now we're going to talk about something that everybody's been talking about on social media. And we're going to talk about something that everybody got an opinion about on social media. And that fucking thing is... Y'all, y'all know what it is. Hey, y'all can't get everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, everywhere you breathe, everywhere you, and you sit on a toilet. When you get in pussy, you think you fuck. They would they have suck Luke Luke Skywalker's dick before they fuck their wife. Probably, they have suck his dick. They they fucking suck. But anyway, I ain't even gonna get into that fucking shit. Now it's time that we take a turn on RVT and fucking shit, man. And we are discuss, you guessed it, this Star Wars, what's the name of it anyway, Rise of the Clones or some shit? Uh, we didn't even see it. What's it called? The, the Force Awakens. I know it was Awakens and shit. Something awake. Uh, the nigga rebirthed, the black man in it, rebirthed and shit, awakened. Now we're going to discuss this um, Star Wars shit. And we're going to get Rashid's, Rashid's point of view. About this Star Wars shit. About what it's all about. Because I know y'all Muslims and y'all Indian people. Y'all don't deal with that shit. So I'm going to bring it to you. And tell you what the fuck is going on. But this motherfucker here. This is RVT. I'm going to tell you my fucking input on this shit here. The Star Wars shit. We're going to talk about my fucking input. Fuck what they saying. They ain't telling you shit. They beating around the bush and shit. Acting stupid. I'm going to tell you my fucking shit. Now. Sit back, and relax. This is how the motherfucker is, right here, the white. Let me wait a fucking minute. Dude. I'm gonna tell you the real fucking shit, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna steal you wrong. I ain't gonna steal you wrong, baby. Believe that fucking shit. Jews doing that. Jews already got that job. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Man. Believe that fucking shit. I ain't gonna do it. Now, first of all, let me tell you about the movie in general. Rashid, can I help you out? You wanna Christopher Reeve wanna help me out? You wanna help me out? I'm gonna be a yeah, I wanna help out too. Alright, Joe Pesci wanna help out too. Okay. Stand over there though. Let me I got this shit here. I got this. This fucking bullshit. Alright. First of all, the movie is about they was breeding some people, dude. They was actually breeding some fucking human, like today, like outside. When you look outside, they breeding a white black race thing outside right now. Right, it's kind of like that shit. They breeding. This planet was breeding some people. The planet, I believe, was um. Let me see. Let me think if I remember this planet. The planet was Jackal, but it looked like the planet Tattoo. Um, what is the um, Tatooine from the other Star Wars it's called Tatooine. 
But the, the plan is called Jackal. And it was breeding some fucking people. They actually, they weren't making clones no more and shit. They was breeding a race of people, dude. And when these race of, you know, like the eggs, the nut, when you, all right, it was, it was like breeding and shit. Fucking in Star Wars, they was fucking breeding. Fuck, in Star Wars, they was breeding and shit. So they breed these like hybrid, um, they weren't clones, but they were prone to do bad, to follow the bad dark side of the, you know, the empire. They was breeding these, and when, and when you get older, they give you a uniform. That's the white uniforms you see. They call stormtroopers and shit. So, as the story go on and shit, this nigga is the, you know, cause niggas don't play that fucking shit. Nigga, if you put a nigga in a, in a holocaust and shit, he gonna come out and say something wrong with this shit. He knows how niggas are and shit. In the projects, when you got your ass, well, niggas still say sorry and y'all became friends and shit. That's how niggas is and shit. They won't just walk, you know, they ain't their nature and shit. You know, they ain't how niggas at. So, motherfucker got old, the, the black guy, I forgot his name. He was like, I don't like this shit going on here. There's something wrong. This ain't right. This fucking shit ain't right. Nah, niggas, niggas gonna bitch up and shit. So, nigga, I'm going on my own call and shit. He teams up with her. Her name is Ray and shit. He trying to get the pussy and shit. He trying to sniff around. She like, get your black dick away. You know, she was like, damn, I ain't sucking no black dick. But they were, I heard they was flirting and shit all through the fucking shit. Dude, I'm going to tell you the fucking truth about the fucking mood. You wonder what it would be like if they fucking each other and shit. You starting to think like that. You know, because they all on the nigga tip today in America. So, that, then, then there's that shit. They, they travel now. They destined. She found a message inside the robot that little ball robot that little ball robot is bb8 and bb8 is a, is a robot that has a map piece of a map of the where luke skywalker is and 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 see in r2d2 has the other piece of the map and the destination they gotta put these two together and get the the um r2d2 had the most piece bb8 BB BB8 I believe had about 10 percent of the map, 10 percent. So they put it together, and it was a map leading to where Luke Skywalker was. Now Han Solo and Chewbacca they teamed up with them on a search. Okay, now Han Solo, this is a spoiler, guys. I'm spoiling. This is a spoiler. I meant to say that before. I, I should have warned you, but I'm. I don't give a fuck. These other YouTubers do that type of shit. I, I forgot. This is spoiler, dude. Alright. Shit. I ain't. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'll fuck y'all up. I'll I fuck you up if you. I spoil. Y'all see why she. We you know the fucking shit now. <laughs> Some of you say, we. But you keep talking. We're not going to see this motherfucker. Just keep talking. <laughs> Alright, guys. Cause I know y'all Muslims out there, y'all fuck around with that fucking. Some of y'all do, not all y'all. So I'm gonna tell you fucking about the story now. But anyway, they going to find Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker was in front of the first Star Wars, and he was training to be a Jedi Master like his father. His father was Darth Vader. Well, it just so happens that Kylo Ren. That's what I'm talking about. That Kylo Ren. Come over here, oh Christopher Reed. Kylo Ren. See, see, see this motherfucker. Let me post. That's what that motherfucker right there do. No. Okay. The fuck out of here with that shit. No. No. The answer is no. The, the, uh, the answer will already know because you're a, he a loser. Who do you think you Mike Tyson with the fucking... You're a fuck. He's a fuck. He's a Jew. He's a Jew. I know he's a Jew. The guy who played Kyle Ren with this tall guy. He's a Jew. He's a fucking Jew. He, he was tall with, with curly hair and stuff. He's a Jew. He's a Jew. I know he's a... Well, you know, man, look. If you don't get your bitch, get the fuck out of here, nigga. I'll put you up there. Get the fuck out of here. You lost. Get out of here. You're lost. You're, you're a Jew. Get this guy. Kyle Ren. No. The answer all you, 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 you Mike Tyson. What, what you got? Racing cars around. Tracks around your eyes and shit. You're corny and you're dumb. He's a Jew. Get the fuck out of here. I don't like his fucking name. Just calm down. You're a loser. You're a fucking loser. You always be a loser. You're No, you're a fail. Nobody want to look at you. You're bitch ass ass. Nobody want to look at you. He's a Jew. He's a stupid Jew. All right. Now, get the fuck out of here with that speed racing nigga bullshit. Nobody want to look at that stupid shit. Get the fuck out of here. And Darth Vader, man, stay in his mans. They burn him, right? They burn him and his mans melted, right? Okay, so that's why he's only, yeah, Darth Vader's the only motherfucker. He's the only motherfucker. The fucking caliber bullshit. 
Who out the fucking way? No, I was just want to say, I'm sticking to my Star Wars. Rashid, excuse me. Wait a minute. I'm sticking to my Star Wars. I'm sticking right here. Get that cow the fucking. You think it cow? I'm the only cow. Right? That's cow right there. That's cow right there, motherfucker. I'm cow. I'll bust a hole in your ass. You see? You see what he'll do? Yeah, motherfucker, you'll kick, I'll kick your ass. You told those YouTube motherfuckers, I'm the only cow I know cow ran around this motherfucker. And don't forget that. Anyway, let's let let's continue on with the movie, guys. I'll kick your ass. I'm the only cow All right. Now, look. Now, listen. Let's continue on. Because this is some bullshit here. This is straight bullshit. Now, listen. I'll kick your ass. I'm the only cow You ain't no cow motherfucker. You be, you're a loser. Look at you. You lose, you fucking bum. You loser. Now, anyway, carry on with shit. I'll kick your ass. I'm only Cal L. All right. Han, his, that's Han Solo's son, dude. Han Solo dies in this movie. Dude. <laughs> Han Solo died in this movie. His son is him right here. Cal Ren. Cal, that's Cal Lo Ren. That's his name. Cal Ren. He died in this movie. Uh, no, Cal Ren didn't die. He killed his father, Han Solo. Han Solo was fucking dude and made a fucking baby. And that's his son turned bad. Kind of like, you know, it's so cheesy. They say even the audience was predicting a movie as it go on. They was predicting a movie. That's how bad it was. A really, really fucking bad movie. They said the special was better. It was a bunch of bullshit. But they said the special was better. The, the, the Christmas special Star Wars was better than that shit. You fucking calorie bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Calorie my fucking ass. Cal, I'm only Cal. I'll bust a hole in you. You just bust a hole in your ass. I'll bust a hole in your ass. It's all right. It's all right. Come on, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Anyway, he dies. He kills his father, which is Han Solo. They were standing on a cliff, and he had this lightsaber that shapes like a sword, and stuck it in his body or some shit. It's a bunch of bullshit. And he fell off the cliff and fell into the abyss. And just, they say it was the worst death. He said he always wanted to get the fuck out of here. He said he always wanted to die since the Empire Strike. Get the fuck out of here. He always wanted to do shit. It's a bunch of bullshit. He said he, always, he wanted the character to be killed off anyway in the Empire Strikes Back. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. He mad. Yeah, he mad. Want him to do shit. He said he wanted them to fucking die. He won, that's what he wanted. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. That's a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, he dies. His son, that's his son. That's Han Solo's son. It's Cal Ren. Now, he kills his son, Han Solo. Han Solo. Wookiee goes off. Chewbacca go off for estimated five minutes, dude. Five minutes. That's all he got ramming. When they get together with Princess Leia, okay, Princess Leia don't even go to Chewbacca about Han Solo's death. She runs right to uh, Rey, the girl. And everybody like, everything y'all been through, you'll think the Princess Leia go to Chewbacca. And this is what Star Wars fans wanted to see. Some kind of remorse. Some kind of, some kind of, some kind of sympathy, empathy about what happened. She runs right to fucking Rey. This is just a stupid movie. And this is, and this is, uh, that, that right there was upsetting to billions of Star Wars fans. You couldn't even acknowledge the death of Han Solo. It's a bunch of bullshit. Jew boys, a bunch of Jew bullshit. Stupid ass fucking shit. They could at least let her, cause so, like Chewbacca, we, we gonna miss him or some kind of fucking shit. It's a bunch of, I'm glad I didn't see that shit. And that's the end of that bullshit. Okay. Kylo Ren, let me see what else I can dig up here. A bunch of a woman kicked his ass. He's supposed to be the strongest fucking villain, and a woman and, and Ray kicked his ass. I heard Ray kicked his ass. That make no fucking sense. Yeah, Ray kicked his ass. Faggot. A bunch of faggot. You a bunch of faggot. 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 That's what I fucking see. See faggots. A bunch of faggots. Gay motherfuckers. <laughs> Cal out. I'll kick your ass. I'm the only Cal L. Okay, all right. He got it. He got it. He got that fucking shit. Anyway, they found Luke Skywalker on the planet. This planet. He was sitting in the middle of nowhere. And they came up to him. The whole movie is about finding Luke now. They finally got to the end of the movie. He found Luke Skywalker. How did his hand got chopped off and the Empire Strikes Back? And now he has a robot hand. He got a robot hand in the Empire Strikes Back. But it was covered with a human hand. 
Now, how did the human skin get off his hand? Nobody ain't bothered to think about that, I don't think. But maybe it came from him jerking off by himself out in the mountains so fucking weird. So much, all the skin peeled the fuck. Then the robot, get the fuck out. I'm telling you the truth. The motherfucker. <coughs> the motherfucker, let me my water. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, I wouldn't fucking lie to you, dude. I wouldn't fucking lie to you. Now, listen. the fuck out of here. They said he was masturbating so fucking much, dude. Get the fuck out of here. They, all the fucking human skin came crawling his hand. And he was left with a fucking iron fist. And then Big Kenobi showed up and said, you shouldn't be jerking off anyway if you're a Jedi. And that's what happened to him. So he was so ashamed he went by himself. And get the fuck out of here. He went by himself and, and became a Jedi in the, in the hills. And then Pussy came to him, which is his daughter. Still ass. It came to him and handed him a lightsaber. And then the movie went off. Like, okay guys, the next episode of Star Wars, Luke gonna be in there kicking ass. That's what happened, dude. That's the whole movie. Han Solo not gonna be in there, cause Han Solo is dead. And that's sad. He's fucking dead, dude. And that's the end of that. And Luke Skywalker had a hand with a robot in it. And he jerked off so much that the skin fucking peeled off. He jerked it off. And then, then Ben Kenobi showed up and said he shouldn't be jerking off in the first place. He got so ashamed, he went by himself and just, and that's why I have, that's my intake on that. That's the end of the Star Wars shit. That's why I have. But seriously, guys, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, she came up, she saw Luke Skywalker and handed him a lightsaber. We don't know how he, she got, you know, we don't, the story never go into detail about Ray, really. Not really, really. So she hands him a lightsaber and then a the movie ends. They fairly fell Luke and that was the end of the movie, guys. Alright? Now that's what the movie about. And it's not like the prequels, like the Sith and the clones. They all prequels. There's nothing like that. But it's worse than the prequels, guys. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. That's what they said about it. And it took place on a on a planet Jackal and and um What's his name? Abrams, J.J. Abrams, was fucking uh, excited because he like, oh, guys, see, son, brother, he, see, he's the richest man in the He's the next um, Don, Donald Trump. He got so much money, Abrams, dude, and he jumping around all excited. Wait till you see the next one. I want to do the next one. They said, no, nah, you ain't going to do the next one. You can forget that shit. I don't know. That's what he said. He ain't doing the next one, dude. But these motherfuckers got so much money. Did you know? That this Star Wars franchise, this movie alone, made 1.5 billion worldwide dollars, dude. 1.5 billion fucking dollars. For that much money, you can build a fucking country, dude. 1.5 billion fucking dollars, dude. Off a science fiction movie. Now, people say, well, she's not a science fiction movie. It's a science. It's a fantasy. Fantasy science fiction. I never heard of fantasy science fiction. Science fiction movie that made an estimated 1.5 billion dollars worldwide. That's unheard of, record breaking, and that's it. And that's all I got to say about the Star Wars um, Empire. That's all I got to say about it. Because, um,. I mean, no fucking said That's a lot of fucking money, dude. You taking it to heart, huh? Well, I do runs, Rachi. I do fucking runs, man. And to see a motherfucking movie like this make all that fucking money, get some of my Joe Pesci, calm down. I ain't calm down, motherfucker. Jesus fucking. You know what I could do with that fucking man? That's 1.5 billion fucking dollars. They all, everybody in there rich. And, and the thing is, these fuckers here, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, they wasn't working. How long was they wasn't working? So they had to wait till the movie come out for them to get paid. You know, they enjoying their fucking life, dude. All them checks coming. They like, I bet, they, how long was Mark Hamill working? You know they need money. You know they hungry. You know they was hungry. Man, this movie, now they get, they sitting back watching them checks coming going, this is what we talking about. That's also, even a nigga up in there. All of them, all of them motherfuckers. They, they enjoying their fucking fortune, dude. I ain't shitting. It's like waiting for social security or something. It was, I can't wait till this movie over so we could get paid. They weren't working for over, like, 20 years, too. Fuck. 
Shit. Them motherfuckers balling right now. They fucking balling, dude. All them rich. All them rich like a motherfucker, man. All that fucking money. They got more money than the government probably off their fucking At least half. Probably do. That's a fucking lot of money. But in a nutshell, guys, that's what the movie Star Wars was about. I'm trying to think of anything I miss about it. And that's it. And that's all I got to say about it. They say it was full of shit. They say it was a feminist movie about womanhood. The woman. And the men didn't like the nothing about it. Nothing about it. And just a reminder, watch those movies y'all see. And that Blu-ray shit, you're going to see it without no protection on your eyes. Watch that shit. I'm just warning y'all, okay? I'll just shout out something. I'll take it to heart or not. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But you're going to see them movies like that with all this computer Blu-ray shit sitting up there. And they don't know the effects of this social media bullshit. He's sitting up there exposing your eyes like that, man. And I saw people with fucked up eyes giving reviews. So, and I ain't shitting you. And one of them put his eye up to the screen. He said, look at my eye. Look at my eye. Look at my eye. So, I don't know. Um, you know, I'll watch. I'll keep an eye on that next movie. The, all these fucking movies. Don't sit too close because it's Blu-ray. Some kind of shit. They, it ain't tested. And y'all sitting. You don't know how that kind of effect that's going to have on you when you get older, dude. Just saying, dude. They see it don't sit up close to the TV set. Look at this shit. This old Blu-ray shit, whatever it is. Sitting up, taking that shit in your eyes up close like that. Y'all some... Y'all gotta use your think, dude. Think. You don't fuck up. You don't know. They ain't been testing that this computer shit. Y'all sitting up to watching that light flashing like that. You want to get epile epile epilepsy or some shit, they say. Whatever the fuck. Anyway, we're going to continue on. <coughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the Star Wars saga thing. Now, we're going to take a turn because now it's time for what on what do you think? Because we're going to be glad looking at some strange otomies, strange situations, strange uh, 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 people of doing the strangest things. And we're going to get our start here. And remember, what do you think? Do you think this shit is true or false with Rashid's amazing video? And welcome, 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 welcome to Rashi's amazing videos where we will be looking at strange videos from all over. Now, this is satisfaction guarantee, Rashi videos. So, it's the freakish. If you dare to look, if you have a strong stomach, if you have a strong mind, and if you have a strong intelligence and a strong well being of how man is supposed to live his life, then this is the place for you. If not, then guys. You got to leave, cause this is the strange and the odd. Now we're gonna begin our video. Now check it out. Now, now take a look at this right here. Uh oh. What the fuck is going on? Hello there, planet Earth. Who you? I am God. Allah. Jehovah. Christ. Okay, I get the point. Because no one listened to me. They listen to you now because no one cares. I curse the white race with stupidity on the earth. Oh, come on, you gotta have silence! I am Allah. And Jehovah. <laughs> I'm everything! Okay, get to the point! I curse the earth with stupidity. And with that in mind, guys, brings us to our first video. Check it out. That right there is for homosexuals. Now, sorry what you say about it. To me, that is for straight homosexuals. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute over. Let me come over this motherfucker here. 
What the fuck you talking about? I'm just saying it's. it's oh, that is look good. Hey, I'm on the E, everybody. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, you come down. Oh, you about see? You see the word homosexual. I had to come over here and see what the fuck you talking about. Because these motherfuckers out here don't know what's going on. I'm here to tell on the ear. I'm going to say some shout out. No, 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 no. Oh, let me see that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All up there. See, I need a ride. Like, see, I like that. See that steel pole? Okay, all right. I get the point. I get the point. But anyway, this ride right here is a bicycle. Um, I, 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 no, 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 motherfucker here. Because you don't understand. We fighting the fuck. We still going to court. We still going to court. Fighting the fuck. So you don't know a fucking thing. You see that picture right there? Oh yeah, I see that little uh, orange. I like that big, big yellow things. You sit in like that little big juicy yellow thing. Okay, all right, they ducks. They 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 play, they play the fucking man. And now let me tell you something. I right? see. Now that's what I'm talking about. We got the the work fighting the fuck. And you got to bring that shit back here. The fuck those ducks. What? Fuck those ducks. Bring that shit back here. The fucking. You talking about that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that? See that smoothness right there? Oh, yeah. You know what? You know what? That's I'm from the street. Okay. Motherfucker, what that mean? From the street? I'm just, I'm from the street. Look, look, motherfucker. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and go, okay? Yeah, go ahead. From fucking weird. The from the street. Like, yeah, damn, I'm from the streets, motherfucker. Now, all that shit. Motherfucker, see that right there? See what I see? See how you just gliding up? Alright, alright, guys. I see you. I see you do. I see you. I see you. Guys, anyway, I just wanted to break. Get the fuck out of here. Motherfucker, that shit. Now, look, check it out. See that motherfucker right there? That's a bicycle. Now, I'm gonna bring you to the next video. Now, look at this girl. Now, guys, y'all gonna freak out over this fuck. What do you think about that guy? What do you think about. Look, look, dude, dude, look! <laughs> See, white people have went to another dimension, guys. Let me explain to you. Because I love my white people. They just left me right now. He was my friend when I was little. I don't know what happened. They ain't think I'm a butt. And I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to find out when did he get cool. When did he get this swag? That's all I want to know. But they stayed away from him, motherfucker. When did he get cool? He just left my head. That's all. It's cool. That's all. I'm going to fuck about it. But see, see that picture right there? Look at that shit. See that? See, I don't give a fuck away. They better stay the fuck away from me. And them motherfuckers know. They know that shit. Look at that fuck. That's how low they got. The shit like that. That's how low they got. So, the thing is. Stop laughing now. This serious fucking Pettigo Junction shit here. I'm talking. Pettigo Junction bullshit. And what you little nigga ain't shit. And, and they ain't talking this. They doing this fucking shit. I mean that. Now, that brings us to our next video, guys. You got to look at this shit. Now, look at this. Dude, that was like, get the fuck out of my goddamn way. I ain't trying to be fucking with you, right? Check it out, man. Check it out. Look. That's like. That's like, if you don't get the fuck out of my way, dude, you know what I'm saying? Off the wall type shit. What's your opinion about that, guys? What's your opinion about that? Here's another video I want you to take a look at. You got to see this. Check this shit out. Stupid ass shit. See, in this great country of ours, United States of America, now... I know we're going through issues and shit. Ain't no doubt about it. But that right there is what you call Jack Nicholson type shit. The ones who flew over the cuckoo's nest. When they bolted his fucking ass back like a dickhead in a mental war. See, that's what you get when you act like a dickhead. Now she getting bolted up her ass. She, she thinks she going home and shit. She went shopping and now she going home and fuck. Ain't going no fucking way. Where you going at? You ain't going home. See, that's life for you. That's life. Where you think you going at? With bags in your hand, you ain't gonna no fucking wear, man. You ain't gonna no fucking wear. You ain't gonna no fucking wear. You ain't gonna no fucking wear, dude. You think you going home? You ain't going to fuck home. You ain't going nowhere. Look, look, y'all, look. Is he going anywhere? Is he going? He ain't going no fucking wear, dude. Guys, what do you think about this? That picture right there. She getting bolted up her fucking ass. 
What do you think about this shit? Check this shit out here. This next video right here. This next video. Y'all gotta check this out. Because this motherfucker, this is what you call a motherfucker that should have stayed in bed. Check this shit out. Dude, that's some crazy fucking shit. Is it not? Now, this this what you call a motherfucker that just should have stayed in fucking bed. Because it shouldn't have, it, it was not his day. This motherfucker caught that shit. He caught that dude, I swear, baby, I ain't shit. This, this white boy caught that fucking shit. If he white, he look white. He, this motherfucker caught this shit. This Indian motherfucker, this, this nigga right here caught it. Dude, look at this fucking shit. White boy, white boy know what time it is now. Trust me, dude. He probably gonna get the white race back on track once he heal. Just so, yeah, I think so. That's my prediction for his fucking ass. He gonna get the white race back on track as soon as he heal. Watch. I ain't kidding. I ain't kidding. I wasn't kidding. I ain't got time to kidding. Hey, motherfucker. He gonna get the white race back on track as soon as he Cause he woke the fuck up. Ain't no way he didn't. Ain't no way he fucking did. I don't give a fuck what race he is. He gonna get the white race right back on track. Wait till he heal. He gonna be Washington and fucking shit. He gonna be that motherfucker in the oatmeal box. Trust that. Believe that shit. Anyway. Moving on to sports. Check this shit out. Check this next video out. Look. What you think going through our head? I wonder what's going through our head right there on that fucking shit right there. She woke the fuck up. She, you know what she saw? She went country. She went country and shit. She saw grits and chicken and biscuits on the plate. That's what the fuck she saw. She saw that khaki. That's what the fuck she saw. Shit like that. That woke her the fuck up. See how people gonna catch that shit. This is a man of time. But she might not be white, American white. She, whatever she is, she woke up. Everybody acting stupid. Don't think I'm dressing American pop. I'm dressing the whole world. Everybody acting stupid. Believe that shit. Now, speaking of American people, dude, this next video is gonna close us the fuck out. Because see, white man, let me no, no take a look at this fucking well, take a look at this shit, man. Look. See y'all gotta realize. The white man ain't himself. He pissed off about what's going on on this planet that he think is his. Now he, now he's scratching his balls and his head at the same time, looking like a fucking monk. But he's trying to find out what we're, what, what we're wrong here. Don't fuck with him, all right? Because he going some shit. Nigga going through some shit. Nigga ain't shit, okay? And he want to know what's going on here. The real redneck motherfucker. I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at, man. I don't know. I couldn't help you. I, I ain't I ain't Bill Cosby. They kicking his ass. I don't know. I don't know. White man lost his, losing his fucking mind. So, y'all got to work that shit out. Don't bring that shit around here. Don't, don't bring it around here now. Leave the white man alone. He'll be all right. He's just going through episode. That's all. Episode, man. Leave him alone. And with that in mind, stop laughing so fucking much. We close. <laughs> That's a goddamn shame, dude. That's a goddamn shame. This closes Rashid's amazing videos. And now, we're going to turn the tables a little bit. But now, you know we're going to kick ass. <coughs> <coughs> My head's spinning. I'm smoking. 
I ain't shit. I got I, I, no doctor's appointment. I ain't gonna fuck I cancel that doctor's appointment. Get the fuck out of here. When I'm sick or something, then I go come and get the little. If I'm feeling healthy, leave me the fuck. Ain't no. That's that fucking oh, Mickey Rooney bullshit. Doctor, I can't. We cancel the doctor's appointment. Fuck that shit. I'm feeling fine. Need no check. I'm, come on, that old age bullshit. That Mickey Rooney bullshit, the fuck HR, M A R A A R P bullshit, the fuck out of here. When I'm feeling sick, I go go, go in and fucking see oh, no appointments and, and medication, all that shit. Don't bother me with that fucking shit now. Nah, I just had a flu shot. <laughs> the fuck you want? Guys, I forgot to. I want to do my Raisin Brand commercial, dude. But the, but the can, he's feeling, he's feeling great with his two scoops. Oh, straight to brand, two scoops. With Kellogg's Raisin Brand. Part of his complete breakfast. I just had to do it on every show, guys. I'm sorry. I got to do it one more time. But the, but the can, he's feeling great. He's feeling great with his two scoops. On the straight to brand. Two scoops and a pizza bread and two scoops to do some rain and Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Part of complete breakfast. I just had to do it every show. Now I feel good. Now we're going to start. What do you think? And you're going to decide is it true or false. And there's my baby thinking. And that means we're going to another world when she start thinking. So here we go, guys. Now this shit here, you got to hear. The, now believe me. If you gotta decipher is it true or false and we're gonna start off by y'all by me saying tell y'all mind if you don't like it go to that fancy t-shirt shit you don't like what's going on around this motherfucker here because this is my fucking show okay so if you don't like this shit go to fancy t-shirts okay go to fancy t-shirts And here we go, moving on with the strange and the odd and the oddities. And you decide now, what do you think about it? Our first story brings us to this picture right here. Now look, now look at this. See that right there? You're not going to believe what happened right there. dude. You're not going to fucking believe it. It says, and I quote, A man dies after falling into a Florida canal while trying to take a pee. This guy was pissing, dude. He was he was taking a piss, dude. I don't think he was taking a shit. He was taking a piss, and this motherfucker fell into the canal. And see that tunnel right there in the corner? That motherfucker right there? He, he got sucked down that bitch right there and died. He was a 27-year-old man who has not been identified. Died after falling into a Florida canal early Friday while he was reportedly relieving himself. I'm not shitting you. That's what happened to this motherfucker here. What do you think about? Do you think that this is a tragedy? That this guy was taking a piss down his mysterious canal and fell in and got pulled and sucked in that fucking hole right there? I like how that sounds because I will, I will be with it. You know, you know what I'm thinking. So I'm like, hey, what the fuck? You know, but it's not that kind of hole. It's a different fucking shit now. Different shit. And he fell in it and I sucked down that bitch right there. What do you think about the man who got who died going in there? Bringing us to our next story. Guys, would you believe that this right here, this this right here, is a real show? This is a real TV show, dude. A real TV show. And it's called Exact T. From what I understand, because you see the picture in the background on the wall. It's called Exacti. And we don't know exactly what do they do. But these people, I'll tell you, they are so creative. Oh, my gosh. I say these people like, you know, but I'm just saying the Orient. You know, so creative. For that. That's some crazy ass shit right there. What do you think about this TV show? It's a game show. Would you watch some um, entertainment like this? And this is a PSA right here, guys. This is a straight PSA right here. You see that right there? Please, guys. 
please do not piss nobody off because see you have to understand one thing around here I'm gonna tell you the truth about shit all right people are under stress all right they under stress they under pressure this white motherfucker caught it he caught it like a motherfucker do we all know how he caught it but this motherfucker true or false um, uh, true or false dude what do you think about it do you think that this is a real picture where this guy I think he pissed somebody off cause niggas crazy and y'all get crazy it don't piss nobody off y'all because if you do you see what could happen motherfuckers on the edge right now the government doing what they want to do Trump snapping at everybody saying all this I mean this guy is, is my favorite Martian type shit and motherfucker might hurt you so please be careful of what the, the fucking do. This motherfucker caught it big time. That white bull caught that shit. Go pedal bear. Go pedal bear. Go pedal bear. Go pedal bear. You lost pedal bear. You lost pedal bear. You lost pedal bear. You lost pedal bear. Pedal bear you did good, but you lost, dude. You fucking lost. They ain't want you. They told you to get the fuck out of here. The answer is no. Because too many bitch asses out here scared to say they like underage. So no, pedal bear, no. But you doing a good you you did you you get credit though. You gave it a good you gave it a good shot, pedal bear, but they say no to you. So no, answer is no. Sorry, cause too many it's too many bitch asses in them. So no. This next story. Oh shit. Crazy fucking shit. I'll kick your ass. Don't you forget that. I'm the only Kyle out. Yeah, but she we back. He's the only fucking Kyle. I'm the only Kyle out. I'll kick your ass. Okay, all right, all right. He got it. Don't you got it, motherfucker? Yeah, he got it, Rashi. I'll kick your ass. I want all these people on YouTube, these white on YouTube and social media know ain't a bad they can beat me. You see what I did to his picture right there? He put a holes in it. Yes, right. Bulls fucking holes in it, motherfucker. Bulls fucking holes in it. I'll kick your ass. Don't breathe hard on me. Don't you dare breathe hard on me, motherfucker. I say, tell him, tell him, Chris. Cause these motherfuckers, I'm, I'm regaining my fucking powers here. Batman can't beat me. Ain't no Calorell shit. I'm gonna call out around here. Ain't no Calorin shit. That's right. Cause they they going too far with the super super. They going too far. Put put them in their fucking place. Put them in this place. They don't belong there. They don't belong there. Put them in their fucking place. I'll kick your ass. Don't breathe hard on me. All right, let's move on to something. They don't call out shit. I'm only call out around here. That's right. Put them in a all these YouTube motherfuckers. T-shirt motherfuckers. We had T-shirts on the fucking time. Motherfuckers. T-shirt mother. T-shirt motherfuckers. I'm telling all you T-shirt motherfuckers. Nobody can be me. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> they ain't funny, my shit, motherfucker. <laughs> All you T-shirt motherfuckers, I'll kick your ass! <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, Pedal Bear, the answer's no, they told you no, dude. <laughs> Another fucker. These lose ass motherfuckers around. Pedal Bear, they say no, get the fuck out of here. The answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue doing what shit, guys. You never see this guy right here. Now look at stop laughing. Look at this guy right here. Would you believe he used the same bag for 35 fucking years, dude? Because he likes that Pesco store. That's outrageous. Fucking crazy. The world is a crazy place, dude. He used that bag for 35 fucking years because he liked the store, dude. I shit you not. And plus, they won an award or something, so he won the 35 fucking years of using the, the same bag. We're going to see how long he could go. Maybe he's going to make a Guinness World Book of Records. I don't know. 35 fucking years with the same plastic bag. What do you think about that? Would you use a plastic bag for 35 fucking years because you like the store or whatever reason you got? It, it, well, we use bags for a long time too. They always rip. How the fuck he do that? That's some crazy shit. 
Well, that's a world. That's almost a world record, if not a world record. I mean, 35 years of the same bag is a, it's a incredible world record. Anyway, the next story, guys, is kind of graphic. It's kind of graphic, but I'm gonna share it with you. Okay. Now this out. Remember Hurricane Katrina? Now check this out. See that building right there? That building stood for like three days or three weeks after Hurricane Katrina. Three to three days or three weeks. But that strange part about it is you see something different about it? Alright, look in that room right there. See that light on? Nobody knows why that light is on to this very day. And this is going on now. They say this is going on right now. Now, you know there's a lot of bullshit around social media, number one. And this is the show, What Do You Think? So, I'm not saying that's real. That could be all bullshit. I think it's a bunch of bullshit around here. And do you think it's true or false? They saying that, like, now they took a picture of that room right there. And this is what they saw inside the room. Now, I believe if that's the case right there. Then that's a bunch of energy floating around. You remember that movie Poltergeist when you open the door and everything was spinning around, the horses and the record player? I think that's probably what's going on in that room for Hurricane Katrina. If that's what they said, that's the picture up close of that bedroom. What's your intake on what's in that bedroom after Hurricane Katrina? It's say about three weeks after they vacated the land, right? Everybody was vacated or some forth, and then this happened. They they found they found a strange light. Don't get creeped out, but it's that they saying it's true. What do you think about it? Do you think that there's a bit energy in that room or something else? Creepy, huh? This is Hurricane Katrina, dude. That they say that's is a that's really weird. The people scared to go. They scared to go in there. I'll kick your ass. I'm the only cow out around here, okay, alright. No, no, Rush, ain't no fucking okay. Cause these YouTubers gotta know what the fuck time it is. Anyway, do you think that that's a real or not? Do you think it's real? I think it's a bunch of bullshit internet hooks. And that's it. That's the, that's what I do. I'll kick your ass! Don't you never forget, don't you breathe on me, motherfucker! Don't you breathe on me! Kick a hole in your fucking ass! I'm the man of steel! And them YouTube motherfuckers gonna learn it! Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright. Guys, that brings us to another closing of what do you think? And what do you think about the things we um, talked about? Don't get scared and all that shit because it's too late for that. <laughs> it's much too late for that. Anyway, stick around to RVT for some more RVT entertainment and some fun. Rashid's video too. In conjunction with RMJC and I am Rashid the R-Man. Giving it to you and dropping it like it's hot. As they say, drop it, drop it like it's hot. That shit old. They don't say that no fucking more. I'm giving it all to you though. Because I'm the only man keeping you entertained on social media. And stay close. I have more great shows coming up. Thank you guys for your undivided attention. And I will be seeing you next time on RVT. This is Rashid signing out. Goodbye guys. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and social media plug out. It's all about change, real change. Peace. Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl.
You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT. Crazy. Well, everything was going on in full swing. Drag, sex, and rock and roll in every single angle. Insane. As soon as everything were obliterated, oh, it was the Titanic of nightclubs. Take an inside look at the world's number one most immoralistic nightclubs of all time. Hi, I'm Rashid. Join me for an inside look at a nightclub that definitely left its mark on American history, Studio 54. It's up next on RVT. Where do you buy Rashid's documentaries? Yeah, I think I could cover that. There's a lot of hotels out there, but there's one hotel that's a short shot. Welcome to the Four Seasons Hotel and Resort, where the best is offered to you daily. Walkabout patio, fine dining, and leisure. The Four Seasons is the best top for your vacation planning trip. And now I'm pleased to announce is that RVT is now streaming in the Four Seasons. That's right, RVT is now streaming in the Four Seasons. And that's great news for anybody who wants to tune in, even when you're not home. Put a smile on your face as you handle business ideas or business planning. With RVT by your side, how can you go wrong? So congratulations to Rashid's RVT, now streaming in the four seasons through Google Plus and YouTube Associates. That's the Four Seasons Hotel, Bangkok, or Thailand, or the States, with RVT streaming through. The number one hotel that's made for you. Gosh, you're watching RVT, Rashi's Video Tool, serving nations all. Uh, serving nations on uh, worldwide. Uh -huh. You're watching RVT. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. 
Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, Sai, dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. Ice cream, balls, shoes, socks, all on social media. Laughing, playing, having fun, all on social media. Books, trains, weight loss gains, all on social media. Different worlds, cute little girls, things that will make you lose your curls, all on social media. Cartoonish babes, the twerking gays, the top tens that will make you be amazed, all on social media. Rashid Arman people love all without a lot of subs all on social media That's Rashid's social media Oh, oh thank you thank you thank you When it comes to having an imagination, I have no problem with that. And I can share it with the world. And I guess that's why we're happy around here all the time. Not being partial, mind you, but Rashid is definitely not for everyone. Only those who truly accept me into their hearts, only then will you see me. And I will see you. RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, serving nations worldwide, where's Rashid all the time. Damn, Rashid sure is not how to drive a point home. He said from the beginning something big was coming to YouTube and social media. I'm sure they get the point now. Hee <laughs> hee. Boy, here at RBT, we really are taking off, huh, guys? RBT, 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 RBT. Not necessarily puppeting the way some do, or complaining. Just enjoying free net social media fully, the way it's meant to be enjoyed. So if you see a big blimp on social media, remember, it's just Rashid passing by. I gotta hand it to you, Cynthia. Your directions was perfect. You're such a swell dame. A chip off the old block, sweetie. The place that guarantees to make you laugh. Rashid's RBT is the best place you could go for Rashid Entertainment on social media. Hey, I remember. But that means you have a brain game. Oh, shucks. So pull up a chair, because it's fun in every syndication. 
let's just say this is one of the places that really gets dull. So, you want it? Just pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let me do what I do. Okay? RVT Rashid's video tube located on YouTube and Google Plus and other social media platforms is now affiliated with Walmart. Always the best price. Be sure and stop in for all your social media and everyday needs. Was cooking hot dog just in hot dog delicious wiener on a bun delicious then delicious now a hot dog is high in potassium and rich in vitamin B 13% and it tastes great did you know a hot dog is a sausage? In definition, a hot dog is a fully cooked sausage grilled and served in a bun as a sandwich. Plump and juicy, how can you resist? Not that expensive and promising. Think back to childhood with hot dogs and baked beans and how the smell got you aroused with mouth water. An American ball game eatery tradition. It's no wonder why the all-American hot dog is still one of the number one best pastime snacks. Where the pork, beef, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money-saving coupons and papers in news ads. So I was cruising, surfing, whatever, doing absolutely nothing, saying nothing either. Then I came across Rashid's RVT. Then I asked, what is this? Who is this? And why is this? Then it made me smile. Not necessarily like the famous Hollywood scenes in Robert De Niro and Poppins now, and not like the train wreck either. That's a different type of entertainment that doesn't focus on the obvious. It's plain Rashid, Rashid's video too. So stop being afraid. <laughs>
the power of persuasion of opinion is obvious to me. And again, this is one of my hobbies, so it's all opinionated. Or is it? One must admit, it's a certain fear with trains, even waiting for them on a platform outside. Then when you see one coming, you're awed. The smoothness in itself speaks for itself. Comfort and grace. Some ride a train daily, as I at one time did. And my spouse at the time did too. Every day. I never get tired of talking about trains because it's a hobby that I love. In fact, where I grew up, the railroad was just across the street. Can you imagine day and night listening to trains running by all the time? So as I grew older, so did my love for trains. I'm kind of used to having them around. So it was only one thing to do. Get one. Besides playing my electric guitar and singing, as well as painting, I have a huge habitual passion. Model trains. Look, it's a hobby of mine. And I love my hobbies. I think it's important for people to have hobbies. You're right, Buster. So do you have a hobby? Look at this kid. Video game coach, 50 cents per class. Way to go, dude. Yup, they have hobbies for kids at pppst.com. That's pppst.com. And maybe tips for helping your child find a hobby for themselves. Here is what some hobbyists say about hobbies. Hobbies are one of the most potent methods for launching something of meaning and lasting value. Well said, I must say. So what's your intake on hobbies? Or if you don't have one, then find one. Head on over to your nearest hobby shop. They're all over with a variety of tastes. If you can't find one, I'm sure one can be found at your local nearest shopping mall or center. If not, help is in their directory that can help you find one. Someone will be there to help you find the perfect hobby for you, if you're not sure what suits your style or taste. Reading is a good one, whether it's in a bookstore or online. It's a great pastime. And speaking of online, because of popular engines like YouTube, Google, and Twitter, we all can admit we love pictures. So what about photography? Here's a no-brainer. If you have magazine pileup, start collecting. They will be worth something someday. So take a break from the me, me, how do I look, how do I look, lock glamour mind frame. Think about you. Grow yourself, just you. Do something that makes you feel content. Go all out, make yourself proud, boost your self-esteem. Carve a little space in your dwellings for yourself and make yourself a hobby corner like I did. There's a variety of hobbies or interests to choose from. Book reading isn't necessarily a hobby, but it's more like an interest, a goalistic interest that takes you far away from your surroundings and you're never too young or old to get started. Now I love my train hobby. I built my train world from scratch. All I bought was the train itself. I even organized field trips for me and my commune to train conventions when they come. It's so much fun, you get to meet other train buffs like yourself and purchase neat things for your little train planet on a desk. My train hobby helps me play authority. It helps me stay in control, but not like Gomez Adams with his train obscurity or my good friend Arthur with his. I take a more colorful approach to my conjunction world, not missing the comic fun in Transvery. And I take my hobby very compassionately, especially when it comes to my locomotive train. Ah, uh, long live my locomotive train. So find yourself a hobby, indulge in it, and never forget your time is your time, but fun time is fun time. Take care guys. Ice cream, balls, shoes, socks, all on social media. Laughing, playing, having fun, all on social media. Books, trains, weight loss gains, all on social media.
different worlds, cute little girls, things that will make you lose your curls all on social media. Cartoonish babes, the twerking gays, the top tens that will make you be amazed all on social media. Rashid Arman, people love all without a lot of subs all on social media. That's Rashid's social media. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rest, rest, play. Remember, any physical activity requires hours of rest, so be sure and get yours. Or if you need help with sleeping problems, just go to www.needhelptosleep.org. That's www.needhelptosleep.org. Stop being so stressed out. Enjoy life. Really enjoy it. Just relax and take your time. Let the drama stay in entertainment. In other words, buckle up. We made history. Tempted by the fruit of another. And I love doing it too. RVT, Rashid's video too. Serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT. Crazy. Drag, sex, and rock and roll in every single angle. Insane. Oh, Take an inside look at the world's number one most immoralistic nightclubs of all time. Hi, I'm Rashid. Join me for an inside look at a nightclub that definitely left its mark on American history. Studio 54. It's up next on RVT. Where do you buy Rashid's documentaries? Yeah, I think I could cover that. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. When it comes to having an imagination, I have no problem with that. And I can share it with the world. And I guess that's why we're happy around here all the time. Not being partial, mind you. But Rashid is definitely not for everyone. Only those who truly accept me into their hearts. Only then will you see me. And I will see you. RVT. Rashid's video tube. Serving Nations. Worldwide, where's Rashid all the time? Damn, yeah, Rashid sure know how to drop a point home. He said from the beginning something big was coming to YouTube and social media. I'm sure they get the point now. Hee <laughs> hee. And now it's showtime. Lights. 
<laughs> this is what you're gonna hear on RVT's RMJC by Cheese Audio Movie Matinee. Whether it's the grace of Audrey, hey hun, or <laughs> take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay. You can stop now. You can. St oh, that's disgusting. I wasn't serious. I wasn't serious. Oh, you can stop. Please stop. Oh. Oh. Oh, please stop. Okay. All right. Uh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh, that's disgusting. I didn't know you was going to do it. Oh, gosh. It's gross. Oh. No, don't say my name. No. Oh, God. No. This is your circus? You didn't tell me it was going to be for real. I still say you're fortunate to have a real mother. Not so fortunate. You're very poor circus. Look, I know you don't have a father, a check. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I understand. I understand, but let me wake your mother up and tell her that this was not funny! Now, dog in the bun. Now, she's audio movie matinee is brought to you by RMJC, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. And Rashi's Death Radio. Ah, such a beautiful morning. I'm ready to tackle on a day. Boy, I feel great. I've been waiting all night. Can't take it anymore. It's okay. It's okay. Just choose. Okay, uh, this one. Ah, no, no, that one. This one. <laughs> Wait. Let's take a look. Hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a wide variety of cereals to choose from. All good for you with a key element in staying in perfect health. Fiber and whole grains for a perfect and healthy heart. More so healthy than vegetables itself and tastes great. I can't take it anymore. Okay, here you go. My goodness. Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a second. So rather than small economy or standard size, cold or hot, make sure you fuel up every day to bring out your award-winning smile. Your heart will thank you. See ya. Don't hate your Rashid, love your Rashid, because that's what it's all about around here. Rashid's video tube, RVT, serving nations worldwide. Don't show that. Oh, you so cute. Warehouse moving sale. Have you heard? Rashi Armand celebrates new warehouse. They're passing huge savings on to you. For a very limited time, and I mean limited time, they're offering the skin candy 21 and 36 color sets at huge savings. Go to www.warehousemoving.com. Sexy is sexy, but savings is savings. Go to www.warehousemoving.com. There's no need to fear, here on RBT, Rocky's Video Tube, and it's so good to be out those projects. Undy, what are you doing? You're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed to say that. What did I do, Rashi?
you're watching RBT. This is the place for silly things. <laughs> Any questions? Go ahead, Roger. Huh? Go ahead, Roger. Go ahead. Go watch it watch this video, too. <laughs> Way to go. E show offs. Stop being so stressed out. Enjoy life. Really enjoy it. Just relax and take your time. Let the drama stay in entertainment. In other words, buckle up. We made history. You're watching RBT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid? All the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide.